diseases of crocentra so now we'll see the list of important diseases of crocentra so my name is nn shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so the first one is a wilt which is caused by fusarium solani we know very well that the prominent symptoms that is associated with the wilt is dropping of leaves or dropping of leaves and wilting of plants here uh, when it comes to crocentra the disease starts one month after transplanting you know the symptoms are quite common as i said you as i said that you know dropping of leaves and as well as wilting of plants but the symptoms in crocentra will appear exactly one month uh, from after uh, planting we can also see yellowing at initial stages yellowing later turn to pink in color and we know that later stages wilting and dropping of leaves can be clearly seen so here the application of 4 rate at the rate of 1 gram per plant or soil drenching with 0.1% of carbon dizim or 0.25% of copper oxychloride application on the 13th day of soil and then repeating the same process for 3 to 4 weeks interval can efficiently can manage the disease second one is stem rot so stem rot we can see let us imagine so here the stem rot is caused by rhizoctonia solani i'm sorry let me uh, so imagine it is a stem let us consider it is a stem imagine here stem rotting which is also rhizoctony solani right so here initially the lesions can be initially start on here imagine so the lesions can be seen on the lower surface later what will happen from above soil level uh, small spots or you know small black lesions can be seen so the griddling will extend to the upward direction so the small spots will extend to the upward direction initially just above the soil level imagine just above the soil level small spots or grids can be seen and later stages uh, this uh, grids will extend to the upward direction the other uh, stem portion also can be affected in later stages what will happen the entire plant will uh, collapses so entire plant will collapses and root also uh, will be rotted so application of uh, faucetal aluminium uh, which for which is uh, very effective against this disease so leaf blight which is caused by coltotricum crossandre imagine it is a leaf right so imagine imagine it is a leaf of uh, crossandra it is not exact leaf of uh, crossandra for uh, for your understanding i am telling so imagine it is a uh, leaf of uh, crossandra so initially what will happen development of brown necrotic spots so brown necrotic spots or red necrotic spots can be seen on the surface of leaves in later stages what will happen this brown spots uh, becomes more darker then brown spots become more and more darker and later stages brown spots become more and more darker and extends to the other parts also not only in leaves but also stem portions we can observe this so shriveling of and drooping off of leaves and as well as you know uh, uh, curling of leaves and rolling of leaves can be observed and as well as in later stages entire not only plant but also uh, stem get infected by this uh, leaf blade pathogen that is called totocum crossandre so spraying of binomial at the rate of 0.1% or mancozib 0.2% or carbondizim 0.1%. We can apply only any one of it. We can't apply the three or three or all these three fungicides. We can apply any one of it can manage this disease. So the next one is alternaria leaf spot, which is caused by alternaria amaranthevar crossandra. Imagine it is a crossandra leaf. It is not exactly crossandra leaf. Imagine. So here we know very well that the most prominent symptom of any alternary leaf spot, not only cross and you can take any alternary leaf spot. So concentric rings are very, 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 very important. Any alternary you can see concentric rings can be clearly seen and you know, uh, yellowing and circular uh, spots initially at that later stages we can we know that that is a brown color uh, concentric rings can be clearly seen brown color concentric rings is the prominent symptom of any alternate area so this disease was first reported in tamil nadu in 1972 this disease was first reported in tamil nadu in 1972 and we know very well that in later stages uh, after developing concentric rings what will happen yellowing and dropping of premature leaves can also be observed in uh, later stages so management uh, uh, when it comes to management uh, spraying of benomel 0.1 percent or uh, mancozib or maybe carbondizim uh, at the rate of 0.1 percent can manage this disease very efficiently so coming to the questions uh, we can expect uh, causal organisms uh, rather than that uh, i don't think uh, there is not, nothing much 
so this is the book which was written by myself and i published it recently uh, a vision into plant pathology um, so which the book contains uh, many aspects and as well as uh, topics related to plant pathology i hope it can serve as uh, 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 best book for almost all graded students especially in ug pg and phd levels interested one can uh, take a look into